Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Jeremiah chapter 41. This is the Amplified Version. Now, in the seventh month of that year, Ishmael, son of Nathaniah, the son of Elishema, of the royal descendants, and one of the princes of the king, came at the instigation of the Ammonites with ten men to Jedaliah, son of Ahiakam, in Mizpah. As they were eating a meal together there in Mizpah, Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, and the ten men who were with him, arose and struck down Jedaliah, son of Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan, with the sword and killed him, the one whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael, manipulated by the Ammonites, also slew all the Jews who were with Jedaliah at Mizpah and the Chaldean soldiers who were found there. And the second day after the slaying of Jedaliah, before anyone knew about it, there came eighty men from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, having their beards shaved off and their clothes torn, and having cut themselves, bringing cereal offerings and incense, going up to Jerusalem to present them in the house of the Lord. And Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, went out from Mizpah to meet them, weeping all the way as he went. As he met them, he said to them, Come to Jedaliah, son of Ahiakim. And when they came into the city, Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, slew them and cast them into the midst of the city, cistern, pit, he and the men with him. But ten men were among them who said to Ishmael, Do not kill us. For we have stores hidden in the field of wheat and barley and oil and honey. So he refrained and did not slay them with their brethren. Now the cistern pit into which Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain in addition to Jedaliah was the one which Asa, the king of Judah, had once made for fear of Baasha, king of Israel, should Baasha lay siege to Mizpah. Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, filled it with those who were slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the rest of the people who were in Mizpah, even the king's daughters and all the people who remained in Mizpah, whom Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had committed to Jedaliah, son of Ahiakim. Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, carried them away captive and departed to cross over the Jordan to the Ammonites. But when Johanan, son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, heard of all the evil that Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, had done, they took all their men and went to fight with Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, and found him by the great pool that is in Gibeon. Now when all the people who were captives with Ishmael saw Johanan, son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, they were glad. So all the people whom Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah turned around and came back and went to Johanan, son of Korea. But Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, escaped from Johanan with eight men and went to the Ammonites. Then Johanan, son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him took from Mizpah all the remainder of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, after he had slain Gedaliah, son of Ahiakim, they were the soldiers, the women, the children, and the eunuchs, whom Johanan had brought back from Gibeon. And they departed and stayed at the lodging place of Chimham, which is near Bethlehem, intending to go to Egypt because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Ishmael, son of Nethaniah, had slain Gedaliah, son of Ahiakim, whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land, and whose death the king could avenge without much discrimination. The end. God bless you, and thank you for joining me today.